Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the pulsator assembly in an LG washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver with a small blade, 10 mm socket wrench, and a couple of different chisels, and a hammer. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new pulsator assembly. The pulsator assembly is mounted inside the basket on the shaft. Driven by the motor, it washes the laundry. The main reason for the replacing of the pulsator assembly is that the splines inside of it are stripped, and the pulsator slips on the shaft causing the washer not to agitate. We're going to start with opening the lid. To remove this pulsator cap, we need to insert the flat blade screwdriver into the cutout openings that located are at the end of each side of this triangle at the bottom. So we're going to slide it in, push it in and lift it slightly. Then we're going to go to this side, press it in, lift it up. And this third one. And now we can remove it. Oops. The first one got locked again. All right. All right, as you can see, uh, there's a three tabs I was talking about. Uh, we were sliding the screwdriver into this cutout and pressing against the tabs. Now, when we remove the pulsator cap, we need to take out that one screw in the center, which is a 10 millimeter. So I'm going to use this 10 millimeter socket wrench and I'm going to remove that screw in the center. So after that 10 millimeter screw is removed from the center, the pulsator assembly supposedly will come out easily. But not in my case. Um, I tried every possible trick that I had up my sleeve, including a uh, heat gun, the uh, rust buster liquid, and the puller, and it's still there. So I only have one option left. I'm gonna use a chisel, and I'm gonna cut out that uh, central piece so we can remove that pulsator assembly, and then I can uh, work with this uh, central piece. It would be much easier to remove it. So I'm going to use a chisel and this uh, nice uh, mallet and I'm going to try to cut out that uh, central piece. Okay, it looks like we've done enough damage and I can pull it out. There. Now I can take this away. So now I need to clean this uh, Leftovers off. It's still sitting on the shaft, so yeah. continue beating a, a living uh, soul out of it. So next, I'm going to clean up the mass here. I'm going to pick up as much as possible by hand, and then I'm going to uh, vacuum the rest. After extensive use of that chisel and the mallet, we finally get that insert split apart. So a few more uh, notches in that thing. A few more hammerings. Yes. All right, that would be the first piece. I'll have to use pliers to pull it out. And now I need to continue to uh, get the rest of it off. All right, that's uh, after about two hours of uh, effort, we are now removed the insert, which uh, technically are supposed to come out together with the pulsator assembly. This is the old pulsator assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. 
All right, so now I'm gonna place a, a new pull setter assembly onto the shaft. And I use this uh, socket wrench, it was a 10 millimeter head to tighten the bolt. All right, and uh, we can put the uh, pull setter cap on. All right, so we're gonna put this uh, three posts in the th three holes and press it down. Now we can close the lid. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.